Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. Yeah, nothing to really take him away from other than he's usually going to be stuck in the taunt from the Galio. I guess you can take away from that, but uh, yeah, Tom Kench will be locked in for Gorilla. Can't get any answering damage. Meanwhile, Gorilla getting locked up. Because close comes through, takes quite a bit of damage. Almost has to devour in onto Snowflower. Walks back forward, looking to finish this one off. Gets the devour now. Cuz joining in the fray. Heel comes down. Snowflower slowed up. Body slam comes through. Roll the barrel comes out, getting a oh, little bit more damage. And Gorilla with the tongue finally takes him down, gets that first well, block. The moment that Khan uses Q, he doesn't have EQ to get out. So yeah. he has to choose between poking and potentially an escape strategy. I mean, right now he's using his battles rather well, working around the passive to get Watch the skull, though. coming through. Goes back in with a flag and drag. Yes, Skrull comes back down. Ixu dashing forward, looking for the kill. Gets him with a bear trap on a rope. Should be able to finish so him off. The Aegis shield comes out. Ixu goes yes, low. Him. But it's going to be the one for one. They both go down as a turret. To actually take down the turret, given that Galio is a melee champion, will be heavily harassed if he ever looks to try and Bear finish trap it. on a rope, not going to connect. Weaver's Wall starting to come through here for BDD. Rides it in, pops off, looking for Ixu. Lots of seismic shove. Cataclysm comes down. He's going to flash in just to get on top of him and will find the kill. Three to one, Longju. Put another one on the board. They definitely didn't want to play with their food there, Longju. Weaver's Wall actually empty. Might be cut off. Heroic entrance coming down from Kuzan. Pops up BDD, and he's just going to get melted down. Cataclysm from Khan, but he gets taunted out. Will be able to walk away with his life, but has Staying to Faker on him. Well, tap the charge coming through here. Now he's getting knocked back, going low. Tries to get himself out. The safety will be taken down off screen by Empty. Now the taunt coming through from Guzon, playing forward to the front line. Going to be untouched. And that is going to get dunked on at the moment. Gorilla arriving now with the Abyssal Voyage. Helps to try to keep him alive as the devour comes through. Keeps getting popped up. Big the taunt comes down. And Gorilla's going to fall prey. Following suit right after with the support. Cuz goes low. One hit away from being stunned up. But you can see just no way for Cuz. Alright, Ixu again. Charge around the backside. Locks in onto Gorilla and BDD. As the shuff does come through and Ixu is going rather low. Devour out from Gorilla. Keeps Cuz alive. Cataclysm comes down but popped up. Is Khan going low and he will go down as if he claims the kill. Heroic entrance from Guzon. Is handing over the shield, lands the taunt onto Gorilla. One more shot would fall. Explosive cast knocks Kuzan back in. Galio finally goes down. But still, the siege can continue from Jin Air because Teddy is rather healthy. Flash of the wall. Quite connect onto that seismic shove. Now the hero's entrance coming down. Gets the pop up onto Khan. They might be able to turn this one around. Flashes away with the taunt there with the flash from Kuzan. He's able to lock him in and he goes down. Now Glacial Fisher coming through. Gorilla has to get the devour. Flashes in underneath the turn, but he still falls. As Prey goes down, a double kill over to Ixu. Finally showing up on this clip for himself. Kuzan heating up that turret. Goes back in for the taunt. One will connect hit. onto it. Yeah, they're just going to go ahead and finish off Cuz. BDD, the only one that will be alive at the end of the day. And that could in game one, actually by their own hands, but they clearly prioritize super high this Galio. Well, they're going in for Ixu. Should be able to finish them off. It's a 4v1. Rogue's entrance actually will come down. Kuzan, is he going to regret this? The team is getting ready to join him in. The taunt comes through, locks up three members, and he is still just slowly getting chipped away at. Might be able to finish him off in the end, as he does start going low. Taunt yet again coming through, but they will kill him in the, at the finish as BDD claims to kill. Abyssal Voyage from behind comes through. Glacial Fisher with the flash thrown down by Snowflower comes up with a kill on the Khan, but so far it's a two for one in favor of Long Minions. Get cleared out in the bottom side of the map, but BDD does not have the Weaver's Wall to ride in. Khan gonna go low, can't really walk back in for the redemption. Flash from the wall actually does get the body block for the ace of the hole, so he does not go down yet. But the rest of the team is in dire straits. Gorilla will fall. Prey and Khan limping away, and Jin Air, still very healthy members, can go straight back over to that Baron if they so please. Jenny. Oh, he's going to play forward straight into Prey. Has the crit. The leap forward from Snowflower, helping deny that final damage coming through. Will keep he and his 80s rather quickly. Umpty going to be coming in. And Ixu charges in. Heroic entrance coming down. Baron taken away by Umpty. All of Longshu's hopes flying right out the window. Two kills as the bot lane gets shredded down. A double over to Ixu, finishing off Khan. And just like that, Jin Air should have won the game. Yeah, it looks like they Jin finally make the Kled work, which may be so important for them going forward. And they will win the series and jump to 3-1 and one and second place on the ladder. Yeah, second place in their sole possession just underneath of Samsung. 36 and a half minutes and the Jin Air fans increasingly have more and more to cheer about. And insanely, it wasn't with a roster change that usually is the thing that pops up the sales, like for example, Longju, whose rookies have largely done well. It's their current players playing smarter, making better decisions, 
understanding the limits of the champion pools, which is starting to fall into place, putting 